Welcome back to the Ulduar Raid Guide. My name's Siderhelm, I'm the administrator of Tankspot.com, and in this video I'll show you our Hodir hard mode strategy. If you'd like more information or would like to learn more about downloading this movie, click More Info on the Movie Information box on YouTube to head directly to Tankspot. Also, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to the right so you'll be automatically notified as we release more movies. Hodir is the simplest of the Ulduar hard modes, and while the DPS requirements for this hard mode are relatively high, it is lower than many of the later hard modes will require. For these reasons, most guilds should consider pursuing Hodir as their first true hard mode. At the beginning of the encounter, our goal is to break the mages, shaman, and moonkin, generally in that order. We split our range to handle one group of these and our melee to handle the other. In our strategy, I pull Hodir near the melee group for a very slight boost of DPS on him while this is occurring, and to allow melee to keep DPS up on him while they move him into position. Hodir can be killed in the center of the room, but we preferred using the back right corner, as this would encourage the NPCs to congregate in that direction and require less movement of our ranged classes. The back right was also closer to where a ranged DPS finished off their own group of NPCs, breaking them out of the ice blocks, allowing them to more quickly attack Hodir. Before going further, let me emphasize that the basic principles of Hodir apply. Don't get hit by flash freeze, don't get hit by icicles, and don't get hit by anything that is avoidable. Also, breaking NPCs out of flash freeze is important, but you won't need to break them all. We marked the mage NPCs and had two groups of ranged DPS burn them down quickly after each flash freeze. Once they're out, they'll quickly free all of the remaining NPCs. Beyond this, there are a few more things you must keep in mind through the encounter that were not important to know on your first Hodir kills. First, ranged players should take advantage of toasty fires so long as it does not impede their DPS in any way. Second, ranged players should always be inside Starlight. Third, Storm Cloud buffs from Shaman are by far the most important buff in this encounter, and your DPS classes need to understand how to make use of this when it comes. Storm Cloud is a single target buff that allows the affected player to hit six players near them with Storm Power, which provides a massive critical strike damage bonus for 30 seconds. While active, any personal cooldowns should be used, and players should be able to get temporary damage buffs such as Hysteria from other players that don't have the buff. Because only six players can be hit by this at a time, we created two unique ranged DPS groups that would, as often as possible, stay separate from each other in different starlights. If a healer was hit by Storm Cloud, they would run to the closest of these groups to buff them. Timing the encounter and knowing when to call DPS off is critical to obtaining a kill. For us, we determined that a safe spot was about 55-60% to 60 at the minute and a half marker, while learning the encounter, we would call a wipe if he was not at or below 20% at the 35 second marker. We use only three healers for this encounter. It's important that your healers understand they do not need to go past three minutes and should time their ability usage accordingly. We always saved heroism for when 50 seconds were remaining on the timer. This gave us a small buffer to more effectively determine our DPS output before deciding whether to wipe it or not. It also worked well with our Wild Magic and Speed Potion timers, which we also used in the last second prior to entering combat for a boost on breaking the initial NPCs out. Finally, we would not break the NPCs out again after any flash freeze that occurred in the last 35 seconds of the timer. Be judicious and safe in calling for wipes and bring players who can put out the numbers and stay alive, and you'll get this hard mode down. Thanks for watching this movie. As always, feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on Tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers. Click the second link in the movie information box to learn more.